Dear friends, a very warm welcome to A 40-Day Journey Through Lent with me, Father Joseph Royne, a Redemptorist. This is going to be a time of spiritual renewal and transformation. 40-Day Journey Through Lent, Day 40 There is almost nothing written in the scriptures about the day after Christ died. The Gospels of Mark, Luke and John do not say anything at all about the day after Jesus Christ died. There are no masses in the Catholic Church during the day today. The Eucharist has been removed from all the tabernacles throughout the world and the adoration chapels as well. If you were to go to into any Catholic Church in the world right now, it would feel empty. The only mention of the day after Christ died in the scriptures is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 62 to 66. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. In a way, it's ironic that the chief priests and Pharisees were still plotting to destroy any remaining faith in Jesus Christ. They continued to do everything in their power to firmly put to rest any such notion that Jesus was the Son of God. The chief priests and the Pharisees seek Pilate's help to make sure that the tomb of Jesus would be kept secure until the three days were ended. Note Pilate's answer. Make it as secure as you can. It is as if Pilate was unconsciously saying, keep Christ in the tomb if you can. So these men sealed the tomb and set a special guard, and they made it as safe as they could. They had not realized that there was not a tomb in the world which could imprison Christ. I'd like to read for you a little prayer from the Byzantine Matins of Great and Holy Saturday. Today, the one who holds all creation in his hand is himself held in the tomb. A rock covers the one who covered the heavens with beauty. Life has fallen asleep. Hades is seized with fear. And Adam is freed from his bonds. Glory to your work of salvation. Through it, you have accomplished the eternal Sabbath rest and you grant us the gift of your holy resurrection. So dear friends, how would you like to spend your holy Saturday? The psalmist says, Be still and know that I am God. Let God find you today in the stillness of your soul. The tomb you must let God enter is the tomb of your heart. We need and desire the God who wants to bind our wounds and anoint our bodies. God is the one who comes to you today. His is a love so real, so intense that it stirs our numbness. And we can't wait to experience the joy of what's to come on Easter Sunday morning, the glory of Christ's resurrection 
from the dead. Amen. Dear friends, it has been an absolute joy journeying with you through these 40 days of Lent. Thank you for being a part of this faith journey and sharing my reflections with all your friends and family members. Would love to hear from you. Feel free to share your experience of the Lenten journey by sending me an email to royancssr at gmail.com. Thank you and wish you a blessed and spirit-filled season of Easter. God bless you.